Hey friends, Kevin Oste here at the 2023 Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals After Hours. Uh, I'm fortunate that uh, they allow me to come in here and spend some time after the show is closed uh, to get a look around, shoot some video, check out some cars, shoot some photos. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to uh, bring my friends along to show you what it's like in this show after hours when there's really nobody here to take a look at some of the cars and displays, right? So we're gonna start right here in the front with this really cool 1966 old Tornado. And if you think a Tornado's not a muscle car, these cars were special because they were front wheel drive from the factory, which was the some of the first American front wheel drive cars in production since the 30s. I think the, uh, the Cord was one of the last, if not the last, uh, front drive car made in the United States in the 30s, uh, but this was in 1966. But this particular one still has its <coughs> Oldsmobile big V8 in front with the transaxle powering the front wheels. But when we look in the back, there's something going on here. Here is another Olds V8 and transaxle powering the rear wheels independently. So it's a dual engine Toronado, all wheel drive. Uh, a neat little body feature here is this air intake vent. Uh, and this particular car was done back in the day, 770 horsepower, 850 cubic inches. And uh, it's a very special car. It was unveiled here, freshly restored, um, built by our friends at Grant Piston Rings. Again, back then. And uh, an unusual car, but something that you're gonna see here at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals when we cruise over the aisle here, we see a 1971 Ford Mustang Boss 302. 71 Boss 302? Yeah, yeah, there's one, and this is it. Most of the bosses were Boss 351s or Boss 429s. This is the prototype Boss 302, only one of its kind. And of course, on display here uh, at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nats. And speaking of bosses the big display when you walk in the door is called who's the boss invitational and we're going to get to all these boss cars in a sec we're also greeted by a display uh cobra versus cheetah right so the cheetah was a chevrolet powered uh sport race car similar to the cobra these things raced against each other in seca and different events back in the day and uh this one's cool it's fuel injected and it's Similar but different, um, but neat to see these two poised next to each other. I uh, got a 62 Corvette Roadster over there because Corvette is the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals middle name. Um, a very unusual and special car over here. This looks like a BMW 507 and you go, why is that at a muscle car show? Well, it's completely hand built by a friend of ours, a friend of the show who has built muscle cars in the past. Dave Molnar and his wife Kelly, this doesn't have any BMW parts in it. He's making this whole thing basically in his home garage. So as a testament to the creativity, it gets a spot right up in front. Very cool. Uh, of course, some of our favorite artists are on display. I uh, spent some time today looking at some paintings from David Snyder. Um, always cool to have good art. But this is the Who's the Boss Invitational presented by the Brothers Collection. Of course, Brothers Collection is where we shot all of our Muscle Car of the Week videos from. And uh, we've got some Boss Mustangs in the front, starting off with some 429s in a whole variety of colors. Uh, Boss 429s, of course, uh, a great, very limited production. Um, Boss 429 motor that was a NASCAR engine, but put in a Mustang for the street. And these morph into Boss 302s, 69 and 70 varieties in different colors. Um, so these are all Boss 351s down here with uh, a couple of more special ones back here. We've got a Mercury Cougar with a Boss 302 in it. A Boss Eliminator is what they called these. Uh, very, very special car in a crazy unusual color. And moving this way, a Boss Bronco, really? This is a prototype of the uh, car craft engineering built. So the same people that built the Boss 429 cars uh, put a 351 Boss in this, and here it is, right? Uh, looking around the room, 
We have our friend Adriana, who is posing with one of the Rapid Transit Cudas. This was a, an advertising car, part of the Rapid Transit system for uh, Plymouth um, back in 1970, and uh, just crazy style cars designed by Chuck Miller. And the other remaining cars in this Rapid Transit collection were here on display a couple years ago. In fact, we interviewed him in our uh, Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals After Hours Live. So she's getting some pictures taken right now. Uh, this is a carbon fiber bodied uh, super bird that is on a Hellcat chassis, a red eye chassis. So all kinds of horsepower underneath, all carbon fiber on top. Um, and over here we have the Ponytail Boss 350 or 302 uh, drag race car. So we've already seen a whole ton of, <laughs> of significant and amazing uh, muscle just right out of the box, right out of the front door. Uh, these Boss 351s, very special cars. Uh, you know, it was kind of fun because these things back in 1971 actually laid down quarter mile times a little faster than the, the big Boss 429s. Uh, and there was a Boss 351 Invitational here a few years ago. You'll see that episode on Muscle Car of the Week as well if you go back a few years uh, through YouTube. So, neat to see how these things evolve. So this section, we have some of the cars being restored by different shops. Um, this is Apex Autosports, and they brought out this 426 Hemi four-speed Plymouth Roadrunner that they just finished restoring. We unveiled that earlier today. Uh, here we have our friends at Meekum, who always have some preview cars on display that are gonna be auctioned off at the upcoming Meekum auction in Kissimmee, Florida. In January, great to see. Uh, I would wouldn't mind owning any one of these. I'm a huge fan of some of the Mopars. They've got a few of my favorites over here. This uh, Plum Crazy, actually being a Plymouth that's inviolate 440 Cuda with the billboards on it, and next to it is a '71 uh, 426 Hemi car. Uh, both have the shaker hoods. Uh, this one, I believe, with the white billboard and the 440, is a car that we featured on the very first episode of VATV many, many years ago. And now can be yours. Pretty darn cool. Uh, of course, this 426 Hemi car loaded to the gills with the billboards and the uh, rear spoiler, it's got chrome bumpers, but it's got sport mirrors and uh, rear window louvers and all kinds of fun stuff. So, always fun to see what our friends from Meekum bring out because you can own it. <laughs> There's a GT500 KR sitting behind it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We've come to a special invitational. This is a big body Buick invitational. These are big cars, full-size cars, and some Rivieras that all have high-performance engines in them. This one, in fact, was my particular pick of the show. It's a 1963 Buick Wildcat with a 425 and a factory four-speed. Super rare, great car, love the red, white bucket seat interior, uh, just an amazing car. Great looking shifter in these. Uh, I think this is, you can see how the shifter handle leans forward in the console makes for some really fun driving. A, a friend of mine has one of these similar that I've driven and uh, it's an experience for sure. Uh, the rest of the cars in this display include a, a LeSabre and another Wildcat, some Riviera GS's, uh, 425 cars, dual quad cars, lots of great stuff. Uh, we're gonna take a few steps over here. Like I said, this is just gonna be me kind of rambling around because uh, because we can, right? 66 Riv GS. This is a great display of Celine Mustangs from the early days uh, all the way through the S7 exotic hypercar uh, to some of the end of the line cars. I think this one was actually featured in the very first Hot Rod Magazine swimsuit issue. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but of course, Celine, 
was uh, a factory authorized um, partner, basically, of Ford that, that upfitted these cars with high performance parts, engine parts, suspension parts, brakes, wheels, tires to make mostly the Fox body and then the, the later Mustangs perform better. Uh, of course, the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals is known for invitational displays. And this one is called the class of 1968. So everything here is from 1968. Um, we're gonna do a feature on this car. It's a, a Cobra Jet. Uh, this one earlier today, this is a California Special uh, GT was spinning on this display. But just a nice cross section of some cool stuff from 1968, culminating with a crazy show car. It's an Oldsmobile that was built for the Chicago Auto Show in 1968 and is still wearing <laughs> the, the crazy faded paint and the sprayed yellow interior as it did when it was on display at the Chicago Auto Show back in 68. Check this out. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's yellow all over. And they've got the documentation. So you can see it. Showing some of the photos of this car when it was at the Chicago Auto Show. Yes. So, 68 was a, a milestone year. This is 2023. Also, 1973 coincides with 23 and we've got a great assortment of muscle cars from 73 so Mopar was still running strong in 73 we start to think of these as where performance was starting to fall off but the the Cudas and the 340 Dusters uh, and of course the Mach 1 Mustangs there's a Buick Grand Sport over there and a, a Nova SS that were still holding on to high performance in 1973 uh, this is a great display of scale performance cars a little tribute to uh bullet with steve mcqueen and all kinds of scale models and promos on display so big cars and small a couple of great amc products from 73 and this one wraps up with a 73 super duty 455 trans am uh beautiful car it's a canadian car uh, this one uh it's a four-speed car, and the Super Duty engine in 73 was one of the most advanced Pontiac V8s ever done. So development continued. Um, they didn't pull the plug just because uh, emissions were happening and high insurance prices and the gas crunch. So that's really cool to see that those cars still exist. And if you want to learn more, we do have a Muscle Car of the Week episode on a 73 Super Duty where we talk about all the different engine mods that were done and the cylinder heads and the bottom end. Great, great car. Here's one of my favorites. It's not finished yet, but it's a yellow, Saturn yellow, 1970 Buick GSX, stage one four speed being restored right now. Fun to see it off the frame. Uh, fully detailed chassis. Again, something interesting at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. It's gonna look kind of like this when it's done. Got a couple of great Buick GSs here, uh, of course, but this will be a GSX. Uh, the Buick GS, of course, was abbreviated for 70. It was Grand Sport, some are stage one cars here. Nice <laughs> 70s earth tone colors with the, I don't know, burnished bronze and the forest green. Uh, but over here, some Pontiacs. These are Grand Prix, and uh, some of these Grand Prix are really, th this was very similar to a Monte Carlo because it had a longer nose and a, a short deck, uh, and, uh, and the Oldsmobile had a similar body style to a degree, but this one in particular is a, it's an SJ428 HO factory four speed, and, and check out the console, man. Just rare as hen's teeth, but very cool to see. We've got some, another high performance Pontiac, this 1960 Bonneville. Beautiful car, multi-carb. 
surrounded by some Mercury's, Mercury Monterey's, and this one's a custom. That one has a translucent roof panel there. Uh, one of the, the first cars ever to have that. Um, and Mercury has a big presence here at the show this year. Uh, this one, they call the Sun Valley. Let's take a look at that translucent top. This is the, the Mercury version of the Ford Crown Vic, I believe, that had that clear top from the factory. It's kind of a green tint. Uh, a look at the back side of that big, big body Buick display, 71 Riv, Botel. Moving back to uh, AMC land, there's a huge display of AMCs back here that are really, really cool. Uh, SC Rambler, uh, you've got AMC Javelins, you got some AMXs up there, you've got some Rambler Rebels, uh, X Code cars, super rare, very cool, lightweight, fast cars. Uh, and speaking of lightweight, fast cars, some Vega race cars, a couple of local drag cars from back in the day, uh, some other race cars that we see, Monte Carlo SS, Mustang, Bob Glidden Ford, Fairmont. Uh, so it's not just stock originals here at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nats. Uh, I want to take a look real fast at this one. This particular car is awesome. It's a 1969 Pontiac Beaumont with a 396 V8, right? So what? A Pontiac Beaumont, what's that? Well, the Beaumont is a Canadian car and it looks like a Chevelle, but it's not, even though it is powered by a Chevrolet V8, Chevrolet 396. But the Beaumont has unique taillights. It's got unique trim above the bumper. It's got, uh, you know, the Pontiac wheels, little Canadian flag in the center cap. It's got some special trim inside and the dash. So the, the main brand was Acadian, which was kind of the Canadian Pontiac. Special headlights and the grill that are all unique to the car. And this one <laughs> is really playing up the fact that it's Canadian because they, they're, they're displaying it in the snow, right? You got simulated snow on the ground, but look at the snow tires with red lines on them, right? Love it, creativity. And we got uh, somebody in here who's very cold wearing his toque and his uh, sweater. So this is a 69 Chevelle uh, by comparison. You see the taillights are very different. Uh, this is a post coupe car, beautiful fresh restoration, a 300 deluxe post sedan. Uh, this one is a, a 396 car. It's owned by our good friend, Mr. Dan Vasek, or restored by Dan Vasek. And we're gonna do a feature on this car in our Muscle Car of the Week coverage. And these uh, 69s go down the line. We've got some 70s GMA bodies in that direction. We've got a corral of some more awesome Mustangs. Uh, we've got a Boss 302 and a 429, another Boss 302, and uh, a 64 and a half K code 289 car. You know, they'll tell you it's a 65, but there were some changes between the early, late 64, early 65 cars. Um, and these end up with another Boss 429 and a, and a GT500 1970 Shelby car. Uh, love these cars. There's uh, all kinds of different fiberglass work up here in the nose that make these different from a regular Mustang and the ducktail spoiler and a bunch of different stuff. Beautiful car. So this show takes a long time <laughs> to go through. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to do everything. This is a great display of pro touring cars uh, and cars that were designed by uh, our buddy Murray Paff. Um, that Vega is awesome, LS powered, trick suspension, lots of great stuff in it. Uh, of course, Murray's personal 59 Imperial Speedster. Car has been cut, chopped, squished, stepped on, narrowed, painted, customized in a million different ways. And, uh, and he drives it a lot, which is great. 
Uh, this particular display is called the evolution of the Dodge Charger. Starts back here in 66 and goes through a bunch of different chargers and some race cars and ends up in the 70s at the other end, um, showing the differences between one year to the next. Great invitational display. If you really want to know the difference between the 70 and the 71 and the 72 and three, uh, you can see them all right here. But we're gonna move along. There's a Chevy Impala Invitational that covers all the years of the big cars. You've got a 66 over here. You've got a 1961 there, uh, or 60 here, and then down the line of, of different colors and styles and SS 427s and hardtops and convertibles. Um, these uh, these 60s are beautiful. It's a W head V8 engine, 348. You know, of course, your rocket ship on the side and the whole thing. It's neat to see in just a few years it went from this to that and how conservative that design is as opposed to this one that's kind of over the top and in your face. Um, space age, right? Uh, we're going to zip down this aisle and take a look at another very special car. Uh, that right there and this, if you recall the Pontiac Firehawk, SLP Firehawk, came out in the early 90s and uh, as a, <laughs> a very high performance version of the Pontiac Firebird well this is a continuation version it is a 1992 car but it's got all 2023 spec LS power underneath and this is fully approved and sanctioned by the people that made the SLP Firehawk uh, back in the early 90s pretty cool um, one of the many vendor displays Selling small cars again, because uh, you can't have enough of those. These are from the Pure Stock uh, Drag Association. So these are cars that look pure stock, but go like they're not. It's a great series to follow. A whole Ford GT display. Uh, and Camilo Pardo, the designer of the Ford GT was here. If you're into uh, ultra high performance Ford cars that's them and uh, of course we've got a nice display of W powered Oldsmobiles uh, and then here is more Mercury and Ford vehicles we've got a lot of Torinos and uh, Cyclones we've got a Ford single overhead cam V8 that was never fired this is uh, from what I understand is a purchased and, and put on a stand but not installed in the car might have been fired but uh, pretty neat to see these the single over cam was basically designed for NASCAR and kind of outlawed right away because it uh, made a whole ton of power for the displacement these Ford Talladegas designed for increased aerodynamics on the super speedway flush mount headlights pointed nose swoopy rear tucked bumpers this one's a 428, and here's a, <laughs> another one in Wimbledon white, and the Mercury Cyclone, which is the uh, spoiler two, kind of the Mercury equivalent uh, of this car, even though they're they're really not equal, but they share that same kind of aerodynamic design. This is a Kale Yarbrough special version, uh, very popular. There was a couple of these. You got a Dan Gurney version, I believe, in blue, and the Kale Yarbrough with the red. Uh, love to see those, but one of the, the car I wanted to kind of wrap this up with tonight in our after hours tour, hope you're still awake, uh, is this 68 Ford Torino GT 428 Cobra Jet car. Uh, and this one is very special. It belongs to a gen gentleman named David Sullivan. And David is uh, an actor and, <coughs> excuse me, David's not necessarily what you would call the world's biggest car guy. He's not a collector of a bunch of different vehicles. Uh, he thinks they're cool. But this particular car was purchased new by his dad. <coughs> Man, excuse me. Back in 1968. And his dad would drive this car. He, he shaved the badges off so it didn't wasn't obvious that it was a 428 Cobra Jet car. Uh, but he raced it. He had fun with it, 
and eventually had a family and, and parked it because it was no longer practical to drive and he raised his kids and eventually it was kind of left in a field behind the house. So eventually uh, David grew up and got the opportunity to, uh, to work on the car and, and bring it back around uh, in honor of his father. And unfortunately his dad is no longer with us, um, but David's here and the car was finished and unveiled here at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals today. I had the privilege of doing that unveiling. We're gonna have a full video feature on this car. And uh, David's a guy who you might recognize from some television acting and film and stuff. There he is. There he is with the car. But just a tremendously cool story of an individual who had a connection to a car that belonged to his dad. His dad bought it new. The whole family was here and they all got to see this car get unveiled and the public reaction. And David really enjoys it and is gonna go drive it and take it to shows. And the little fun secret was, today was the first time he'd ever been to a car show and he came here. So he better not expect to have this type of show everywhere he goes, because this is special, it's different. Uh, and he won awards and everybody really dug it. But this is what it's all about. You know, it's those connections you make either with friends or family or other people that share the passion for the hobby. And that's what this whole room is filled with, right? So we only scratch the surface. There is a whole additional half of this show, more so than half, more Corvettes, more uh, uh, performance cars there. And then on the other side of this wall, over there you have the barn finds which are cars yet to be restored and some club cars and just an incredible array. So I recommend that you come here. If you've never been to the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, come on out, check it out. You're gonna love it. You'll be back. And uh, again, we're gonna be posting some videos of these cars that I talked about tonight uh, on our Muscle Car of the Week channel and VA TV. We hope you get a chance to check them out and enjoy it. As always, please leave comments. And thanks for joining me after hours at the 2023 Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals in Chicago. Kevin Osteen, out.